Hey everybody, it's Wilbits, and we are playing S Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice. Um, we're doing that thing. We're doing the trout thing. We're in the lobby because somebody just got shot. We're lucky the ambulance made it in time. But we've been forced into a recess for now, while things get straightened out. I can't believe what just happened! Tell me about it. Do you think Iran put that guard up to it? If she did, she's going to regret it. No one gets away with something like that on my watch! Poor Queen Amara. Your benevolence! Any news on her condition? She's undergoing surgery at the hospital. As we speak. They are giving her a 50-50 chance of survival, though. That Garan, justice will be served! Why? Why did this happen? Just as we were finally reunited! Oh, Queen Amara. Um, what was that about being reunited? Oh, it's nothing! Right... How are you, Hornhead? Dirk Sodmady was your father in all but blood, after all. Thank you for your concern, your benevolence. But I'm fine. Right now, we still have a trial to see through. So that's what I'm gonna stay focused on. Hornhead. You are sturdier than your stature lets on. Thank you? Not very nice. Just don't overdo it, okay, Apollo? Dirt. That was a real shocker, alright. Can't believe the dragon is dead. That's. Say, AJ, I was wondering when Dirk disappeared after I freed him. That's because Amara turned back into herself, right? Yeah, I suppose so, but I don't know if it was because Dirk's spirit willed it. Or if it was a part of Garan or Amara's plan. Man, our dream of revolution. Now what are we gonna do? Is this it? Don't give up yet. There's a very good chance that Garan is the real culprit in all of this. And if we can prove her guilt in court, Hey, you're right. That could be just the push we need. The dream lives on. Yes, it does. You know what that means, AJ? The fate of the revolution rests squarely on your shoulders. <laughs> Only today's work. Uh, who am I kidding? There's a ton of pressure. But this is what Dirk gave his life for. So I have to do this for him. The Honorable Rebel Dirk Sotmady. Hmm. I would have loved to have spoken with him while he had lived. I mean, we could just channel him. Honestly, we could, we could, hey Maya, just bring him back in here. We could have a chat, technically. Really? Oh, why not? Uh, I mean, he seemed like quite an interesting man. Did she bump her head or something earlier? Is this the wrong Rafa? Hello, Rafa, are you okay? The trial's about to resume. The defense is to report to the courtroom at once. Already? After what just happened? Already after what just happened? The first thing Garan will do is respond to that last accusation. So you'd better stay on your toes, Apollo. I will, Mr. Wright. Ready or not, Garan, here comes justice! Okay, let's see how well Garan's gonna try to weasel out of this one, because she technically didn't do it. But... Pretty suspicious to have her guard do that. Now then, let us resume today's proceedings. Huh? Where's Nayuda? I must offer my apologies. I never imagined a royal 
guardsman would do such a thing? Oh, oh no! What? He wasn't acting under your orders. How, how dare you cast such suspicions upon her eminence? It is quite all right, your majesty. Suspicion is only natural under such circumstances. But rest assured that he acted alone, for I knew nothing of his plans. I don't believe that for a second. Now then, your majesty, regarding the murder of my husband, Minister Inga, I would like to offer a new possibility. A new possibility, you say? Indeed, for during the break, the real killer confessed to me. What? Bailiff, call the witness to the stand. The real killer confessed? What's she got up her sleeve this time? I have a really bad feeling about this. Who this? Excuse me? I agree, Nick. He's the one who confessed? The prosecutor said, you're the real killer? I questioned him during the recess, as I think that Amara had been covering for someone. So it was that he finally confessed his crime to me. Nuda, you didn't really do it, did you? Her eminence speaks the truth. It was I who killed Justice Minister Inga. Nayuda! Are you. Can you channel spirits? Peace! Prosecutor Sadmati! Are you absolutely certain about this? A confession of this nature is grave indeed. Yes, I am certain. For I killed him by my own hand. <laughs> At last, the real killer has been revealed. Uh, how are we supposed to respond to this? Nayuda, retract your confession! Now! Mr. Justice, it is not yet time for your cross-examination. Who cares about that? Admit it, it was Queen Garan who put you up to this. She forced you into giving a confession, didn't she? You are out of line, Mr. Justice. Learn some self-restraint. Uh, but, but... Or do you have something that might prove that I did not commit this murder? I, I, that is... Uh, uh, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Truly, the truth can set us free. Looks like Garan got, him, got to him somehow. I definitely didn't see this coming. Nayuda, why are you doing this? Why would you sacrifice even your life to do Garan's bidding? Whatever the case may be, prosecutor Sadmati, your testimony, please. I could not remain silent while her eminence fell under suspicion for this crime. It was I who murdered Justice Minister Inga. He had to die for the future of Kurain. I consider it divine judgment cast upon a fiend who sought to assassinate our monarch. 
My mother was simply covering for me. I am ashamed I let her go so far for my sake. You do understand what you're doing, right, Nayuta? You're sentencing yourself to death if you're found guilty. If that is the court's verdict, then so be it. I must obey the law above all else. The law, Nayuta, or the queen? Objection! They are one and the same. Enough! This blabber has nothing to do with the witness's testimony. Please address any issues you may have during the cross-examination defense. Oh, I will. I'm going to blow his problematic testimony to smithereens. Now you confession. I could not remain silent while her imminence fell under suspicion for this crime. Hold it! Yeah, it took you long enough. You kept quiet all this time, even though you were the real killer. Yes, and I accept that what I have done can never be forgiven. But I never imagined suspicion would fall upon the Queen herself. Prosecutor Sadmadeus placed the future of our kingdom above his own life. He is taking responsibility for his crime and is showing his loyalty to Queen and country. Without a monarch on the throne, Crane would be plunged into chaos. I could never wish that upon my homeland. That is why I had to let the truth be known. What a bunch of baloney. I'm gonna ask you again, Nayuta. Did you really kill Minister Inga? Yes. No matter how many times you ask, Mr. Justice, the truth is immutable. It cannot be muted. It was I who murdered Justice Minister Inga. Hold it! It's not too late. You can still retract your confession before the verdict is rendered. There is no retracting the truth. One either tells it or does not tell it. It is that simple. Ugh. Why do you always have to be so stubborn, Nayuda? I hate how you never listen to reason once you get like this. Every time. I think we need some evidence before we can get him to retract his confession. Either that or we'll have to force a retraction out of him by appealing to what's in his heart. It's not going to be easy either way. His heart kind of sucks. Prosecutor Simony, what was the motive for your crime? I had reason enough to kill Minister Inga. He had to die for the future of Kurain. Hold it! What do you mean by that? Minister Inga was planning to assassinate her eminence in a coup d'etat. I had to nip this evil in the bud, even if it cost me the purity of my soul. So you're saying the death of another is a reasonable price to pay to protect the Queen? Long have we remained independent under the authority of our spirit medium queens. We command the people with awe and respect with the power to commune with the dead. Without such a monarch, our kingdom would lose its standing in the world. But if spirit channeling is so important, why did you have Queen Amara perform the rite? I'm afraid my elder sister is quite capricious. She would fill her duty only when the desire to struck, as sporadic as that was. It was therefore something she did on a whim. There was no meaning behind it. A meaningless whim? It's hard to press a statement like that. Now if I may return to my testimony. I consider it divine judgment cast upon a fiend who sought to assassinate our monarch. Hold it! Divine judgment. Yes, I render judgment upon the minister on behalf of the Holy Mother. Are you saying the Holy Mother guided you? No, 
Her Holiness would never condone killing in her name, regardless of circumstances. As such, I believe my defiled soul will be damned to hell. But I do not regret what I have done. I willingly sacrificed my soul to protect this kingdom's future. Snap out of it already, Nayuda! So his motive comes from a place of faith. Huh. Why does it sound completely credible when it's coming from him? Well, Amara expressed a similar motive. As for her mercifulness, she's truly deserving of her title. My mother was simply covering for me. I am ashamed to let her go so far for my sake. Hold it! So you killed Minister Inga, and Queen Amara staged the crime? Is that how it went? Precisely. My mother is as clever as she is kind. She sought to conceal my crime by taking all of the guilt upon herself. Yet another lie. I need to poke a hole in his testimony. But how? Nayuda, could it be you? Didn't know Nana's real identity or told Amara what to do? You didn't realize that Nana was actually Queen Amara, your own mother? That is not as strange as you might think. Much time had passed since we last met after all. Right. 23 years ago, was it? When Dirk saved her after the supposed assassination attempt? No, Mr. Justice. It was 15 years ago that Dirk adopted my mother. Huh? That's weird. Are you sure about that? I remember it clearly. It was around 10... I was around 10 years old at the time. Nayuda, please add that last statement to your testimony. I was reunited with my mother, Queen Amara, 15 years ago when Dirk abducted her. Um, press? 15 years ago, huh? That's around the time I left for the US. What happened after Dirk helped Queen Amara escape? Agents of the Crown pursued us relentlessly, so we had to live a life on the run. Mr. Justice, know that Dirk sent you away so that you would not be caught up in the life we led. I see. Thanks. I can't believe it's been 15 years. Apollo, there's something about Nayuta's testimony. Yeah, that discrepancy is a bit hard to miss. What could it mean? So Nayuta got to meet his mother. Back when Dirk rescued her. That's what he's saying. It's news to me, though. I had already been sent away at that point. Okay, now that I've dragged more testimony out of him, what can I do with it? Could now remain silent while Remnant fell under suspicion for this crime. This I, who murdered Justice Minister Inga, we had to die for the future of Kurain. I consider divine judgment cast upon a fiend. I was reunited with my mother, Queen Amara, 15 years ago when Dirk abducted her. Is there something we can throw at this? Oh, Dirk and Amara, life on the run was 23 years ago. And that's when you were born. Can we present this? Objection! You're saying that Dirk made off with Queen Amara 15 years ago. But that's strange, because I heard something very different from Dirk. He said that they ran off together 23 years ago. That is impossible. I know for a fact it was 15 years ago. Well, I have evidence that contradicts your statement. How do you explain this photo? Dirk said it was taken 23 years ago. He, he said that. He did. But if we take what he said as fact, then there's something in this photo that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. 
This isn't making any sense to me, so I suppose I should ask. What does not make any sense if the photo is only 15 years old? Oh, if the photo is only 15 years old, then this baby doesn't make sense. Take that! Neuda, this discrepancy may not be directly related to this case, but I don't think we can simply overlook it either. Dirk said the baby in the photo was you. But that doesn't make any sense if the photo is only 15 years old. After all, you said you were around 10 then, right? <laughs> were you a really tiny 10-year-old? Were you a little baby 10-year-old who never got any bigger? No, you are. Are you secretly a baby in a big costume? Are you five babies <laughs> stood end to end in a big white robe? He's definitely sweating bullets over there over something. Apollo, if this baby isn't Nayuda, Wait, you don't think, who do we know who's only about 14, 15 years old? You don't think, do Kinemara have another child while she was on the run? What? <gasps> oh, 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 Nayuda, you have a sister. And just what if that child were being held hostage? Nayuda, is that why you obey Queen Garan's every command? You presume too much! Uh... And that's why Queen Amara was trying to take the rap as well. To protect this other child. A child born 15 years ago. Hmm. There would have to be someone who's around 14 or 15 years old now. This is just a guess. But I believe I know someone who fits the bill. This also explains the strange behavior. This is the child who was born to Dirk and Queen Amara 15 years ago. Magician girl Trucy Wright. No, it's friggin' Rafa Padma Kurain. All those strange statements she kept making. Now they all make sense. Prosecutor Sadmundy, may I ask you something? Of course, your benevolence. I, um, I've been meaning to ask you this since yesterday. Did you know about Queen Amara? And about me? Hmm. From where did you hear such a thing? From Mother. And only yesterday. Rafa was carrying on about telling the truth to the people. So I told her. I told her what the truth really was. For it is up to a mother to discipline her child. I see. I... I... cannot accept this! Is something the matter, your benevolence? Queen Amara is lying! It makes no sense! Queen Amara would not have killed my father! Why? Why did this happen? Oh, just as we were finally reunited. Oh, Queen Amara. Now I see, Nyuta. Why you do what you're told. <laughs> the other child born to Dirk and Queen Amara was... Mr. Justice, I believe I know what you are about to say, but I cannot allow you to name an innocent soul as the child of terrible sinners. I thought you might try to stop me. After all, simply revealing this information endangers who you've been trying to protect. <sighs> I think this should make it clear what I'm talking about. This is the chink in your armor. The reason why you fear for your sibling's reputation. The law?
Yeah, since the bombing, there's much noise in the Huh. The idea that the sins of the father are visited upon his children is deeply rooted in the minds of the Kuranese people. Because if they find out that Rafa is the daughter of Dirk, she will be expelled from the royal family. Take that. And that is... A file full of information that Dirk collected on what happened 23 years ago. A particular note right now is what's written here. The sins of the father are visited upon his children. This deeply held ideal is why you were expelled from the royal family. Which means it wouldn't bode well for your sibling either. If she were revealed to Dirk's daughter, to be Dirk's daughter. <laughs> you became a prosecutor to bring down Queen Garan, but at some point you came to serve the very regime you despised. And that was because the Queen found this chink in your armor. That's how she came to use your sister against you. <laughs> I... I... Nayuda, have you been keeping this secret all this time? Have you been trying to protect me? You are an innocent party to all this. I live only to safeguard the law and serve the country and queen from which it flows. One such as you, who is destined to ascend to the throne, need not fret over one such as I. No, I cannot accept that. What you say is, it's malarkey. Don't you even care what happens to you? Before country, queen, law, and everyone's future, my personal feelings are of no consequence. That is why I resigned myself to my fate. I know I must accept the status quo without any thoughts of change. Spoken like a true prosecutor and a patriot. I shall continue to rule Kurain until the day Rafa succeeds me. For that is what is best for our kingdom. I know your eminence. Yours is no small sacrifice. But I promise you this in exchange for your life. The child shall remain safe and the kingdom shall prosper. That is all I can ask for with my meager existence. Nayuda, is this really the new you? It does not look good on you. Resigning yourself to the will of another and killing any hope you held for the future. No! The Yuda I knew would never let himself be turned into this! 